Saudi Arabia malls are more than just shopping centers. They are hubs of entertainment, culture and culinary exploration. Let's shop in a real Saudi mall and visit a floating mosque on the Red Sea. Assalamu alaikum. We are standing now in front of the shopping mall, the Al Andalus Mall in Jeddah. So I'm going to show you around and to show you how the shopping mall looks like in Saudi Arabia. In Jeddah there are a lot of attractive shopping centers. We went to the Al Andalus shopping mall which is not the biggest shopping mall in Jeddah but we love this shopping center very very much. This is number 6 on the list of the biggest shopping malls in Jeddah. Yalla, let's go inside because there is a whole lot to discover. The mall in Saudi Arabia is not only a shopping mall, but this is the place where people meet each other, where they are hanging out, enjoying and eat together. It is quite understandable why people prefer to go to the mall, because there is a nice air conditioning here, and there are lots and lots of shops it's like a small city inside the mall and outside it is really really warm in Saudi Arabia and the malls they look really beautiful and really modern so I'm going to show you around I believe that the biggest shopping center of Jeddah is called the Red Sea shopping mall However, we like this shopping mall even so because it has a lot of shops, restaurants and even a playground for children and as you can see it is not that busy in this shopping mall. It has more than 300 international and local stores. It is a wonderful destination for many daily visitors and it is one of the most important places for shopping and tourism in Jeddah. shops that exist also in the Netherlands so a lot of recognizable shops for example there is the body shop over there and here mango before there are all international shops that also exist here in the shopping malls of Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. One of the reasons that I went to a shopping mall is because I was looking for an abaya because I didn't have any abaya yet and I saw this amazing shop where they have a lot of abayas in a lot of different models and different colors so I was very amazed by the beautiful abayas that they sell here in this shop. As a revered Muslim, I don't have a lot of Islamic and modest clothes yet. So I'm struggling a little bit with what I have to wear. So I am very happy that I found these kind of shops with a lot of options uh, of Islamic and modest clothes. And I found in another shop a very nice abaya. So I bought one and I am so happy with it. There are a lot of shops where they sell gold and beautiful jewelry to discover. Giving gold as a present is part of Arabic culture. For example, on a big event within the family. They often give a worthy present like gold to the person who is celebrating the event. This shopping mall has three floors. So let's go up to discover what we will see on the second floor. Look at these beautiful dresses. Unfortunately on camera they look not that beautiful how they are actually in reality because of the light. But believe me they are so beautiful. And I've seen also a lot of very very beautiful wedding dresses in Jeddah. Here is also the food court on the second floor. So let's have a look and let's see what kind of food you can actually get in a shopping mall. So there are mainly fast food restaurants like hamburgers and stuff. 
I saw all bake and I didn't try all bake yet and of course I cannot leave Saudi Arabia without trying all bake so I think this is the perfect opportunity to try it let's go for it and let's see if it is really that nice as everybody say so I filmed my reaction but unfortunately something went wrong with the camera so it is recorded in very fast fast speed and also without sound, so I'm quite sad about that. Um, but basically I was saying that I really love it, it's really crispy. And the chicken nuggets are very tasty and very juicy inside. And there are two types of nuggets in Al Bake. You have the regular ones and the spicy ones. And I tried first the regular ones because I wanted to know how is the real chicken flavor. And even the regular ones were really tasty. And and even I thought they were still a bit spicy. It is better than the normal regular chicken nuggets that I had before. And it comes also with a garlic sauce and ketchup. We enjoyed eating our food, alhamdulillah, at Al Bake. And I just want to show you when you go to the other side from the food court, you will see a very colorful, enlightened part. And that is the playground for children. And it's really amazing, so modern. It looks really attractive to visit, even for me. I was really excited to go inside. Look how cute with all those cartoons and the lights and everything. To make it also enjoyable for the children to go to the shopping mall. They have a special area here and it's a very very big playground with all kinds of games. Everything that you can imagine is here. So I can imagine that the children love to go to this place. I just felt like a little child again when I walked inside. There are many attractions inside the playground. For example even a mini roller coaster and many games to play and you can buy also candy and popcorn but I saw that you have to pay for everything so nothing is for free you have to pay every attraction or every game that you want to play separate so it's not just one ticket that you can buy or anything you really pay for everything separate in this time it is very quiet because we are here very early but normally in the evening it is very busy here and it is full with playing children here. So even though I can imagine that the children really love to come to this place, it might be very expensive. So I have double feelings about it because it is difficult in Saudi Arabia to play outside due to the weather. So the children are actually forced to entertain themselves inside the home or inside a building for example like here in the shopping mall so if the children are coming from a family that don't have that amount of money that they can spend on these kind of games for example it's quite sad that they cannot participate on these games however apart from that it is nice that it exists and that the children have an exciting place to go to when they are visiting the mall where they can have fun and enjoy themselves. These ones are so cute. They really love it. We go to the third floor, what is the sport city of the mall. We found here a way to go to the sport city. So let's enter it and let's see what we will discover here. Oh, they have really big things. Tennis. For, oh, football! There is a football field there. It was very exciting for me to see a football field inside a building because I've never seen that before. And the same counts also for the Saudi people 
that it is not possible to play sport outside. Well, I've seen some people running in the night or late in the evening, for example, in the city. But it is so hot outside that it is almost impossible to play sport outside, like football or anything like this. So there is also the possibility to play sport in the mall. But even to play sport, you have to pay money for each and every sport that you want to play. We are on our way now to the supermarket because we would like to find some snacks here in Saudi Arabia that we can try. So let's see what we can find. They have a lot of fresh vegetables and fruit and you can see also where it's coming from, for example here. Saudi Arabia imports a lot of things from other countries, for example like these apples. And they show you exactly from which countries the apples are coming from. In Saudi supermarkets everything is very organized and very hygienic. They make separate sections for every product that they are selling. So for every product they have a different section in the supermarket what makes it really organized. This is crazy. This is a wall made of family packages of lace chips and Doritos. It is really amazing. market here is very big and it is very organized but they have all products actually that they have also in Europe so I find a lot of products exactly the same as how I find it in my own country in the Netherlands because they import a lot of stuff of course from other countries and even from Europe also it is only quite expensive for example this is 18 real what is almost five euros and they sell this drink, Vimto, even in the Netherlands, where it is not originally from. And even there it's not that expensive. San Pellegrino from Italy. It's my favorite water. It's 8 real and, and that is around 2 euro 50. Maltesers, we have it also. It costs 16.95 real. It's 5 euro. 5 euro? Yeah. Oh. So this one package is 5 euro. Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah. It's 3 euro. Yeah. Uh, 10 real. 10 for next 5 real. 3 euro, I think. This package is 4 euro. 14.95 real. I didn't find anything typical from Saudi, typical Saudi products. So if you know anything that is famous and what is typical from here, what is produced here in this country to try, then please let me know in the comments and then I will try it next time, inshallah. In the supermarket they sell also technical devices like televisions and coffee machines and headphones. 
So you can literally find everything in the supermarket. We went back home and tomorrow we are going to a floating mosque what is in another part of Jeddah, what is really worth it to see it also, so keep watching. This is the beautiful Al Rahman Mosque, also known as the Floating Mosque. It was built in 1985 on the water surface. On the edge of the Corniche Road in Jeddah, you find this amazing, beautiful mosque. It is one of Jeddah's most visited mosques. The mosque combines ancient and modern Islamic architecture. standing here in front of the Al Rahman Mosque and what is special about this mosque is that it is floating and it is floating on the Red Sea. It's the perfect time to visit this mosque also because you can see the sunset from here in Jeddah when the sun is going down behind the Red Sea. So it gives a beautiful view. We just saw the beautiful sunset and we are heading back home now. But before that, let's have a look closer and let's see how the mosque looks from inside. We are now going to enter the Al Rahman Mosque. the new Jeddah Corniche located along the Red Sea and it takes up an area of 30 km. In this area numerous of five-star hotels, restaurants and cafes are located. 
we are at the airport of Jeddah and it is unfortunately time to say goodbye to Saudi Arabia for now. We had an amazing time here in this country. We are in the airport of Jeddah at the moment because we are leaving Saudi Arabia unfortunately after being here for one and a half month and we are going further with our journey and we are waiting for our airplane now to depart. It was an amazing experience to never forget in this country, Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much for all the tips and recommendations. We couldn't afford to stay more longer because the life in Saudi Arabia is quite expensive. We are very grateful for the time that we had here and especially that we had the opportunity to visit the two holiest cities, Mecca and Medina. But hopefully Saudi, we come back soon, inshallah. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Then we'll see you soon in one of our next videos. Bye.